On this screen we are presented with a virtual emulator running Windows Mobile. On this device we have installed a very simple and basic Uniface application called My Uniface Contacts. This application consists of two small screens. The first screen is a menu screen containing a list box widget with a single option My Contacts. By selecting this option we are presented with the second screen which allows us to retrieve, edit or create new contact records. So let's do some of that. As you can see, we only have two records on file. So let's add another one. We can now save the record. At the bottom of the screen you'll notice a familiar Uniface store successful message. We'll enhance this application by adding a second option which will display a contacts list and additional screen to list the contact details. So let's move on to Uniface development environment. As stated during my presentation, mobile development is essentially the same as a client-server development for which we use the phone components. We'll open a mobile menu screen. And add a second option called contacts list. So now we have two menu options. In our value chain trigger, we have already predefined the case too to activate the mobcon list component. Let's compile our mobile menu and open a mobcon list component. As you can see, this is a very simple component with a single list box that will essentially load all the contacts in the list and display them to the user. Let's compile this component. The next step involves moving these components onto the mobile device and for that we'll just use the simple Windows Explorer. As you can see, two components that we just changed are shown on the top with the appropriate date. and we'll copy them in the Uniface 9 Uses installation folder. Please note that the mobile contacts list component is not on this screen. We'll confirm to override the existing mobile menu component and a mobile contact list form also appears in the list. We'll now run our application again. And we can immediately see the changes we made to our mobile menu. By selecting a mobile contacts list, 
we can see all the details in there. This concludes our mobile development demonstration.